Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Improvisation. Today we're going to be doing something called modal interchange. Now, the word modal, anytime you hear that word, you should think chords from various keys, okay? Modes and keys are essentially the same thing. The major scale and minor scale are both modes. We often tend to think of them as scales while there's something else called modes on the side, but in reality, it's pretty much all the same stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to work in the key of C major and we're going to pull chords or borrow chords from the key of C minor, okay? And we're going to be doing the left hand as root notes in the form of octaves and then in the right hand we're going to be doing the actual chords. Now I'm going to pull two chords from C major. I'll put C major up on the screen so you can so you can see it. We have C major. All right. We're also going to do the 5 chord in C major, which is G major. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the chords we're going to pull from C minor are the 3 chord, which is E flat major, and then the 6 chord, which is A flat major. Now the reason to do this is to make your progressions that much more interesting, okay? And the reason it works is because you're pulling chords from two different keys that happen to be parallel, meaning that the C major and C minor both start on C, all right? So here's the magic, ready? We're going to go C major, I'm going to go up to the three chord in C minor, and then I'm going to go up to the six chord in C minor, and then drop down to that five chord in C major. And there you have it, guys. You no longer have to stick to just diatonic chords in your progressions, whether you're composing or improvising. Feel free to learn about your scales, right? Figure out what major or minor key you're in. Know what chords you can play, and then also take a look at that parallel key, right? So if you're in C major, you wanna look at the parallel minor and C minor and try to find chords from that key that you can put into your chord progression. And that makes things way more interesting. If anybody has any questions or comments, leave them below. Please like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.